Hi there. Okay, I've got something really exciting to show you today, which is a feature which no one else has seen demonstrated before, so you're going to be one of the first people to see this. And uh, what it is, is shareable automation. So I've come up with a way where one person can write a piece of automation, and then you can put it on a website, or you can just email it, and then uh, someone else can then just put that on their keypad in a matter of seconds and have access to the automation which a different person wrote. And the power in this is that you can get someone who's an expert in something like uh, Photoshop to come up with the best ways, the most, uh, you know, using all their professional knowledge to come up with the best ways to automate in Photoshop. And then they can put that on the web and you can have access to that, that professional level of automation in seconds without having to come up with any of it yourself. So it's really powerful and you can do this for any piece of software there is on the planet, which is that really, really exciting if you ask me. So I'm going to get on and show you this um, with a demonstration on the screen. So let's do that. Okay, so here I have the uh, keypad software open up on the desktop, and I've just got my keypad plugged in via USB, as you'd imagine. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to draw your attention to this little button down here, which I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it says um, load from clipboard. Now, to accompany this, what I've done is I've actually mocked up a little bit of a website. And if you go over here, I've got um, just a list of uh, different recipes. I've just got the name of it, a description, and then this button here, which says copy to clipboard. So I'm going to go for this top one. It says open notepad. The description is it opens up notepad on Windows. And if I uh, click this copy to clipboard button, it's going to copy something to my clipboard just as if I'd pressed Control and C. Then if I go into the software here, the, the keypad editor, then I click load from clipboard. Just watch what happens on the screen as I click that. What's just happened there is it's pulled that in from the internet. So when I click the copy button, it puts something on the clipboard. And then when I press load, it actually loaded automation from the web. And that only took uh, you know one click. I can now just press the upload button at the top here. Um, and that will now put that over onto my keypad. So that now, um, if I press this, it actually loads up Notepad. And that's come in from the web. Put it on my keypad in two clicks, a matter of seconds. And this is really, really powerful. As you can imagine, there are, there's no limit to what you could um, download. You could have whole profiles for the hot, like a whole setup for your keypad, for video editing, for gaming, for anything like that. And you know, if someone's already done a good job at coming up with some automation, you've got no need to write it yourself. You can just grab theirs and just plow on with whatever you want to do. So it's really useful in that respect. Now you you may be wondering how this actually works, and what it is is uh, in in the keypad software, you know, everything's uh, the automation is represented nice and, nice and visually by uh, these little blocks. But what's going on behind the scenes, if I press uh, Control and V, just to show you what we actually uh, put on the clipboard there, you'll see this great big uh, long piece of, um, of of words, really, or of, uh, text here. And this is um, basically what the, what the keypad deals in, is just each of these is a different key press or a, a little bit of information. And that's what drives the uh, entire keypad. So actually, that bit of text here is stored on the memory in the keypad and that's how it processes everything. But because this is just a nice little piece of text, it means we can send it over email um, and people can just literally copy it as it is and then uh, click the load from clipboard. Or this button here actually is just a really, really simple piece of JavaScript where it has that piece of text coded into it. When you press that button, it copies it. So let's do this with another one. I've got this uh, fun one, uh, Heart, Diamond, Spade, Clubs. And if I press the uh, Copy to Clipboard button there, and let's go to this uh, second button at the top there, um, so that I'm just dealing with the second button on my keypad. When I click my Load from Clipboard button, it loads up this. And what this one does, it actually um, uses a combination of the Alt key and the numpad to uh, type out a load of custom characters. That's a, a feature of Windows which you can do. And even though I've got a laptop, I don't actually have a numpad, um, it can still simulate them. So if I go back to uh, Notepad here, let's just get rid of all that. And I now press this, it's quite cool. Um, it types out each of those different custom characters like that. I mean, it's not very useful, but it is, it is fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is really exciting. I, I don't think I've fully realised how the potential of this. I mean, if I had a, a website where uh, community members could contribute their own uh, automation recipes and other people could download them, this can become an incredibly power, powerful automation tool where um, you know, you're basically sharing productivity tips, but they're really quick to use, really quick to uh, download and get working. And you, you don't even need to know exactly how they work yourself. So there's 
a fantastic amount of scope in this and I'd love to see where people take this so as you can as you can see I'm really excited about this I'd love to hear your thoughts and um, if, if you know if this is the sort of thing which you have the skills and expertise to contribute to then in the future when it's all up and running where you can contribute these I'd love you to do that so um, thanks for watching this I hope this has sparked your imagination and uh, please let me know your thoughts thanks